All right, this is fifth grade, module two, lesson nine, where we are, the big key word is fluently multiplying multi-digit numbers using that standard algorithm uh, to solve multi-step word problems. So it's these word problems that means we're probably going to end up using tape diagrams, you know, those tape diagram things like this. Uh, to try and explain uh, the, the meaning behind the math that we're about to do. So let's get working. So Jeffrey bought 203 sheets of stickers, and each sheet has a dozen stickers. He gave away 907 stickers to his family and friends on Valentine's Day. How many stickers does Jeffrey have remaining? All right, so... Let's get that tape diagram going. So he has 203 sheets, and each sheet has a dozen stickers. So here's a sheet. It's got a dozen stickers. Here's a sheet. It's got a dozen stickers. Here's a sheet. Here's a sheet. Here's a sheet. And da-da-da-da-da. And we're going to keep going. And all together, we're going to have 203 sheets. And inside each sheet is going to be a dozen stickers, a dozen stickers, a dozen stickers, all the way down to this end dozen stickers, all right? And then once we've figured that out, now we, we can kind of know that that's 203 times 12. All right, that's pretty straightforward. And then we know that what we need to do is we then need to chop off this final 907 stickers because that's how many he gave away. So once we've done this 203 times 12, we're then going to subtract 907. And that's going to tell us how many stickers Jeffrey has left over. So let's kind of shrink this a little bit. Let's move that up. And let's get working. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to multiply 203 times 12. And we're going to use that standard algorithm which means we're going to begin by multiplying by 2. So 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 0 is 0, 2 times 2 is 4. Now we're going to multiply by the 1, but that's not really a 1, that's a 10, so we're, we know it's going to end in a 0. So 1 times 3 is 3, 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 2 is 2, so we got 2,030. And now we're free to add, so 6, 3, Four, two. So that's 2,436 stickers in total. That's all of these. But now we have to subtract by 907. We're going to subtract by 907. So we've got to regroup. That makes this a 16. 16 minus 7 is 9. 2 minus 0 is 2. 24 minus 19, we're going to do a little regrouping. So 14 minus 9 is 5. So that's 1,529 stickers that Jeffrey has left over. So Bao saved $179 a month. He saved $145 less than Ada each month. How much would Ada save in three and a half years? All right, so Bo saved $179 a month, but that's really $145 less than what Ada sa uh, saved each month. So what we need to do is we need to figure out, okay, $179 plus $145, we add those up, and we get $324. So Ada saved $324 each month. And then, so month after month, here's another month, here's another month, here's another month, da 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 da, da. And each time, she's saving $324 a month. $324 a month. Now the question is, how much would Ada save in three and a half years? Well, we know that one year has 12 months, another year has 12 months, another year has 12 months, and then the half a year has six months. So 12 plus 12 plus 12 is 36 
plus another 6, and that's 42 months altogether. So we know that Ada is going to save money for 42 months. And we want to know how much money is she going to have. So we're going to do 324 times 42. So let's get cracking at that. So that's going to be 324 times 42. That's how much Ada is going to save. So using that standard algorithm, 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6. Now we're going to multiply by the 4, but that's really a 40, so we know it's going to end in a 0. So 4 times 4 is 16, carry the 1. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9. And then 4 times 3 is 12. Now we're free to add all of that together, so 8 and 0 is 8. 4 and 6 is 10, carry the 1. 1, 6, and 9, you add all that up, you get 16, carry the 1. 1 and 2 is 3, and 1. So Ada is going to save $13,608 in her three and a half years. Whoa. And the last one. Mrs. Williams is knitting a blanket for her newborn granddaughter. The blanket is 500, I mean, 200, uh, 2.25 meters long, and it's 1.8 meters wide. Okay, so we've got this thing, and it's going to look like 2.25, 1.8. And then what is the area? So we know we're going to multiply. So we know we're going to multiply 1.8 times 2.25. Except it says write the answer in centimeters. So right now, we know that this is meters and this is meters. So we know that we want the answer in centimeters, so let's convert this to 225 centimeters, and this is equal to 180 centimeters. And so now we're free to multiply 180 times 225, and we're going to use the traditional standard algorithm to do that. And the first multiplying by 0 gives us 0, 0, and 0. So now we're going to multiply by the 8, which is really 80. So I'm going to put the 0. And 8 times 5 is 40. 8 times 2 is 16, plus 4 is 20. Carry the 2. And then 8 times 2 is 16, plus 2 is 18. Now we're going to multiply by the 1, but that's really a 100, so we know it's going to end in two zeros. So 1 times 5 is 5, 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 2 is 2. Now we're free to add everything up. So 0, 0, 0 is 0, 0, 0, 0 is 0, 0, 0, 5 is 5, 8 and 2 is 10, carry the 1. And then 1, 1 and 2 gives us 4. So that's 40,500 square centimeters. So our answer is 40,500 square centimeters. So if we really wanted to imagine what, what was going on in this square, this rectangle, there would be 40,000 little squares in this rectangle. 40,000 of them. Because we had 180 going this way, we had 225 going this way, that's a bunch of tiny little square centimeters. We're just going to say, we're going to leave the answer as 40,500 square centimeters. And so that is lesson nine, where we are using the standard algorithm to multiply in order to find the solutions to some word problems.